On today's video, we're gonna talk about 4K wireless HDMI extenders. If you're sick and tired of dealing with messy HDMI cables <laughs> and you wanna get rid of them, but you still want to enjoy stunning 4K video quality, well, you're in the right place. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps that you need to take to install a 4K wireless HDMI extender. And after watching this video, I guarantee you'll think twice before you plug in this HDMI into your TV, gaming console, or cable box. And by the way, I'm Michael Scott, and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. All right, let's get started. So what does a wireless HDMI extender actually do? Well, a wireless HDMI extender enables you to transmit audio and video content from various HDMI-enabled devices, such as gaming consoles, streaming boxes, computers, and cable boxes. And this allows you to remove unsightly HDMI cables from your setup and even frees up options like storing the video source in an entirely separate room. But do wireless HDMI extenders cause lag? Well, obviously, it depends on your specific hardware, but most wireless extenders will have one to two lines of latency. And wireless is almost always going to have more latency than wired. It's just the facts. So, do you lose quality with an HDMI extender? Some wireless HDMI extenders can introduce signal degradation, especially over longer distances or when transmitting high-resolution signals. However, many modern HDMI extenders are designed to minimize these issues and provide high quality, low latency signal transmission. So what is the maximum distance for a wireless HDMI extender? A wireless HDMI extender could help extend your HDMI cable up to 200 feet. And just a heads up, the maximum length for an HDMI cable is 50 feet. After that, you start to see signal loss. Do wireless HDMI extenders work through walls? Most wireless HDMI extenders can transmit the AV signal through walls. For instance, you may have a primary home entertainment setup in one room, but you'd like to be able to send the AV signal to an additional TV in a secondary location. And that's exactly what a wireless HDMI extender does. So let's test the wireless HDMI extender in a few different ways. Okay guys and gals, let's first talk about the setup. This is the wireless transmitter, and we'll connect our PS5 via the HDMI cable. Plug it in here, and then we'll plug it into the back of the PS5. Also, we have a power supply, which is the USB Type-C, and this has to be connected to power. All right, there we go, and then we'll connect the power to the bottom. I'll run it down here through this hole in the back. <clears throat> and there we go, we have power. So next, we're gonna connect the receiver to the TV in the living room. Let's go. We'll plug the HDMI to the back of the TV and then connect this to power. It's that simple. All right guys, now our first test is the PS5 test. Now our PS5 is not hooked up to this TV. It's actually hooked up to a TV over in the corner over there. So we're transmitting wirelessly from the PS5 at say about 25 feet to this TV. And we're getting pretty good response. There's definitely a little small bit of lag. We're gonna try some Call of Duty. We'll see how it goes. I imagine there'll be a little bit of lag here, um, but it's only about 25 feet away, so it shouldn't be too bad. And also one more thing, you're gonna need power for these transmitters and receivers. They do come with a type C power connection and a power brick. A little laggy. A little bit. Yeah. Definitely a little bit laggy, but all right. So now we'll wirelessly transmit this screen from the laptop to our big screen TV. And we plug the transmitter in to the HDMI. It took about 30 seconds to 45 seconds for the computer to recognize it. Make sure power's plugged in, and look over here. There we go. Testing the Ultra Human Ring Air. It's been a learning adventure on what this tiny ring can do. From choosing the correct ring size to the setup process. And I have some first-hand observations about what the Ring Air can do. In 
And at the end, I might even have a gold tank. Now this is going through a wall and a door actually, so pretty cool if it works. Pretty cool, so it works through walls. And this is about, I'd say, 75 feet away, going through a wall and through a door. Pretty cool. Okay, for our final test and test number four, we're going to extend the security monitor to the big screen TV in our bedroom. So first thing we have to do is swap out the HDMI cables. And put it right there. Okay, now we're gonna plug this into the extender and then we'll plug the power in down below. And we'll set this up here like here. And we'll check the TV in the master bedroom. Okay, our fourth and last test is a success. We are now wirelessly extending our MDR system from our master bedroom closet all the way into our master bedroom. And for our particular situation, this will be a permanent setup because this works best for us. Having the ability to watch our security cameras from our bedroom is priceless, which gives us a great sense of security. However, there are dozens of uses for this wireless extender, and I've shown you four of those uses. And the only use that I would not recommend is the PS5 because there was some lag, but everything else worked perfect. So guys and gals, if you want to get rid of your HDMI cables for good, then you need this wireless HDMI extender. And of course, the product link will be in the description below. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.